Hey guys, what's going on? Arkel here. So I'm going to be running a little bit of Lost Realm here in the background, but today though what I really wanted to share is some knowledge. Uh, and that is how randomness works in a computer. Uh, so just a little background on myself so you know that I'm, uh, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I have over 20 years of full-time programming experience, so I've seen my share of approaches towards random number generation. Uh, so the first thing is that in, in a computer there is no true randomness. Uh, we must use, uh, we must start from a starting point and uh, we call that a seed. So because of that, uh, RNG, which is random number generator, you heard the term many times I'm sure, but that's not quite accurate because we have to use that seed. So in reality, what it what it really is, is a pseudo uh, random number generator or PRNG. It's just not used very often in the common, in the uh, community. So um, for that seed, uh, there are different ways of seeding uh, to get that number uh, generator started. Uh, so some of them are used for more secure things like cryptography and things like that. But in most cases, uh, that's not, uh, it's not seeded that securely. So one of the ways that you can start and get a value for your initial seed is to get some information from the environment. So this is usually done uh, for encryption because it has a much higher entropy value, uh, which means it's going to be more secure. Uh, one of the examples, if you know your way around Linux or any other Unix system, uh, there is a file at dev random that you can just read and it's just going to spit out a bunch of random numbers all the time. So I think that this is all based on environment uh, seeding. So another one that you can use, which some of you may have already used, is by using human random input. Uh, so this is also used most of the time for encryption because it has uh, a better entropy value so it's more unique and uh, one example of that is when you're trying to create some sort of key and it's asking you to move your mouse in for like 30 seconds inside a window. Uh, but one of the other ways which is generally what's always used is just a simple integer. And this usually starts off by using the microsecond of the current second. So in all, in all of these cases that I just named, uh, the same seed will reproduce exactly the same series if the same random num number generator is used. So in a way, you can think of that seed as being the key. So um, in like I said, in almost all the cases that I've seen over the years, uh, almost everything uses the microsecond, at least as a, as a starting point. Uh, sometimes people take that value, then they start adding a little bit of math to change it around, or uh, you know, go outside of the bounds of the one million, because you only have one million microseconds. Um, but generally, that's what is used because it's very sufficient for most cases where you don't need absolute security and it's simple, very simple to implement and it's very fast. You don't have to wait for new environment data to come in before you can spit out a number. So this is generally what's used in almost all cases. So without having that seed, you cannot reproduce a series and you cannot guess a series so for something like Castle Clash, right, there is nothing that you can do at all to manipulate that initial seed. It, like I've seen a lot of people come up with stuff over the years uh, and it's all stuff that I'm sorry will simply never have an impact on your success. So uh, some of those included uh, going out of the altar then back in. Uh, some of them were pretty uh, pretty far-fetched like going out and then going and clicking on Immortep's uh, description a few times and then coming back. 
Um, some of them are uh, changing the hero that you roll on, and there's a bunch more that I could name, but I'm pretty sure you get the gist. Uh, so, the thing is that once you start a series, once you have that initial seed and you start a series, a, a, a series can start bad and become good, or vice versa completely. So, even if you were to re uh, reverse engineer uh, and, you know, find... Re -engineer, sorry, reverse engineering the game and finding places within the game where it might be reseeding again. So, in other words, resetting the random number generator. Even that will not help you uh, get a better series because all it is is that you're starting from scratch, but every number is independent of its previous numbers. So, well, not exactly there, but uh, you get the point. It's it's not... Uh, a series is not gonna have a batch of numbers that are good for you and a batch that is bad for you. It's gonna be random all over the place. So, also one thing to keep in mind about randomness is that if, let's say, you were to uh, just have uh, I don't know, something like seven or eight rolls. Seven or eight rolls, that's not enough to really be spot on the percentage. So if we're rolling for heroes, for example, and in those rolls you have a 5% chance of getting a legendary, it's, uh, it's entirely possible that you go the entire way without getting a uh, legendary, without hitting that 5%. But the thing is that when you have a big enough a uh, data set where it's enough of this randomness going on, then chance no longer is a chance. It becomes spot on. So if let's say you were to roll a million times and you had 5%, then about 5% of your rolls you would have had legendaries. And it's as simple as that. You could think of it as, uh, let's say in all rolls globally across Castle Clash in total, uh, if they want 5% uh, to be hero role, legendary roles, then that is what they'll get because the data set is millions and millions of roles. Uh, you can also think of the lottery. The lottery is calculated the same way. It uses chance, but so many people play and all that that it's not chance anymore. They just put the odds in their favor and they always win. Exactly the same thing for casinos. I'm sure you heard the phrase, uh, the house always wins. So, all in all, I just wanted to share that information because, uh, you know, I, I think people are, are hoping that people are right huh? and they're going out of their way to do all these different things to try and help themselves, but it really doesn't. And I'm telling you with all my experience, it simply will not help you. Even if, like I said, you were to reverse engineer the game and find uh, another place, uh, well, a place in the game where it reseeds your random number generator, it still would not help you because you're just starting a new series, but it's the same as if you had just continued the one you were previously on. So there's just no difference there. So if you want to change things up and change the hero that you're rolling on, or go out of the altar and take a break, or you know, even if you do want to go click on Immortep, uh, or be superstitious in any other manner, then please go ahead, do it for yourself. But I just want you to be uh, aware that the RNG will not be more lenient towards you because you did those things. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share uh, with you today. Uh, I guess if, if you don't understand fully, you can replay the video, uh, but this should be pretty, pretty accurate information with uh, uh, all the experience that I have uh, playing with these things, including some cryptography. So. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna let the, the video finish up uh, my little Lost Realm uh, runs here. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little uh, bit of information and uh, I'm curious to know what you think. Uh, maybe I can uh, uh, help you guys understand a, a little more about what actually goes on in a computer in, uh, in some cases. So if you're interested, just please let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll read them and uh, I'll, I'll keep some more stuff going. 
Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. So uh, I, did, I do hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep clashing. <laughs>